I don't know. Like, I feel like it doesn't really super, super go anywhere. But maybe that is the point of the genre. Maybe that's just kind of what it is. Hi, everyone. If you don't know me, my name is Claire, and I am becoming a lo-fi producer. This is week three of the challenge that I've posed to myself to become a lo-fi producer in a month because I love lo-fi girl. She's my queen. And I just want her to have a really good time studying for whatever it is that she's been studying 24 seven for, for the past like five years or whatever. So in week one, my approach was to make an eight bar loop that was as full as it possibly could be and then move it around and make a bit of a form with it. And then I found that that didn't really work super well for me. So in week two, I moved a little more sequentially throughout the song and I found that that worked a lot better. And that's the method that I'm gonna keep on keeping on with as we go forward with this challenge. So that's what I'm gonna do today and this week. My main challenge that I'm facing right now is learning how to fill the space within the genre without it being too, too weird. I've done production work primarily in the rock and folk genres, which obviously are quite different from lo-fi. So the things that I would use to fill space in those things might not necessarily work in this context. So the thing that I'm trying to do now as I get more into the nitty gritty of producing lo-fi now that I've kind of figured out a process that works for me is to take what I already know from those genres and find a new fusion that's not too weird and kind of makes sense but um, still does make something that's kind of new and different and fun. My other main challenge from last week was that I still don't really have a concept of how much tape noise or vinyl crackle or even pitch wobble is too much because they're pretty characteristic of the genre and, you know, as it's something that I'm still learning. Those are things that I'm kind of overusing right now just because I don't really necessarily know what else it is I'm supposed to do to make it feel like lo-fi. So those are the two main things that I'll keep in mind as we go through this week and as we make this new project and, um, yeah, I guess we'll get started. Okay, hi! I don't know how I want to start this week. Last week I looked for a drum loop forever and then immediately abandoned it. So maybe I'll start with chords this week. Maybe, I feel like that just works better for me. Um, what's this? Genuinely no clue what this is. Could be cool, but um, maybe not for right now. Is that? Oh, hear the world. It was really random. I don't know why that's in my head right now. I'm not vibing with this. Let's do. See if I can find like a weird electric piano or something, maybe. Brian's Whirly? That's not Brian's Whirly. This is Brian's Whirly. Oh, Brian doesn't like his Whirly right now. I like it. Not what I was looking for, but I like it. Do I want to try to do this or do I want to find a loop? I'm gonna try to do it. I'm gonna be brave. Now, I'm gonna be real with you. I've never actually used this step sequencer thing before. So, kick. Snare. Kick, kick, snare. Drum machine designer, now I know where you are on the list Because I sang a song about it last week that sounded like this And now I know where it is on the list Cream soda I'll leave it on cream soda for now, just while I make the pattern I don't hate it Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. Maybe? No, because that's too late. I 
still don't know how to swing it though. <laughs> Convert to MIDI region. Cause I only want that swung. Set it to like 75 swing for some reason that I don't really understand. Cause 50 would be straight. Which makes no sense. Yeah, like I just wanted to pull a little tiny bit. Okay, good start, good start. Let's throw a little pad in the background, I think. Maybe not a pad, just like something and really verbed, like a strum almost. Completely random choice. And a wrong one. Oh, there's like a... No, thank you. That's the part, at least, even if I change the sound after, like, that's fine. Cool. Yeah, that's maybe better. Let's put a bass in here. Something really, like, plingy. That's a new word for me, plingy. And definitely not what I mean. But, like, very, like... Like an orb. <laughs> Maybe I just went like a boom. Ow. Maybe I'll duplicate this little synthy part on a piano really quiet. start. Let's splice. I feel like a restaurant might be the ambiance for this one. That's kind of cool. Let's go with it. can come on off the top. Maybe in a different instrument and then that one can come in later. <laughs> right. That has arpeggiation in the name which makes it an arpeggiator. Not what we want. Oh, how did I get it under the arpe arpeggiator category? I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, maybe just like a whirly. I don't like that sound, but I think the octave is better. Marimba. Marimba always wins. How it's starting is not sitting well with me. Maybe just the piano could stand on its own, but piano and bass maybe is weird. Maybe not that melody, but a different one. Maybe the space is okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna put the melody in a vibraphone track there. And I'm also gonna do some stringy stuff. Could be cool, could be cool. Yeah, that's cool. Strings. I want a clarinet, I know that's a hot take. I'm on a clarinet kick lately. I'm putting clarinet in a lot of random stuff. That's a really good clarinet, actually. And maybe clarinet keeps going through a little break here. We're getting there. I feel like it needs it needs more like noises happening. I'm gonna use the tape effects, but I'm gonna use them kindly. I'm gonna use them gently. I'll verb this a little bit. Could be nice. Prison main floor, sure. And I'll take my little cymbal swell again. It's like Frank's Red Hot. Put that on everything. And I'll put a delay on it, same as I did last week. I like that. 
I thought that was fun. That's too loud, obviously, but cool. Can we all put the strings on the break? The break does feel a little bit empty. A little bit of the origin on this. Just so gently, just so gently on the strings. It's very meh. It's fine. I'm not super vibing with it. What if I put the bass on the beginning, but up an octave? Because it feels really empty on the top. It would need to be a different sound. Maybe like an upright bass. Is that weird? Maybe like a boom, boom, boom. Okay, I'm gonna have a full listen through and see how we feel. I think it's done. To be honest, it feels really boring to me still, but maybe that's something I need to lean into. I don't know, like I feel like it doesn't really super, super go anywhere, but maybe that is the point of the genre. Maybe that's just kind of what it is. If that's the case, then this is gonna be a huge learning curve. Like there's no part of this that I don't like. I think there's enough movement. It goes kind of somewhere, but I'm not like, oh wow, this thing just came in. That's really cool, you know? Um, but maybe I'm not supposed to be. Maybe that's the, maybe that's the nature of lo-fi. You're not supposed to notice things. And when I do listen to lo-fi, I think that's true that it's not very often that I actually notice something is changing and doing something different. So maybe that's just what it is. Maybe that's just what it is supposed to be. So I guess that's my big takeaway from this week. And also like, I was much happier with the thing that I made last week. Um, I'm not unhappy with this, but I think maybe I was just having a particularly good day last week um, and today I'm just like I'm not feeling as creative. So that's a very real thing and I think I need to let myself make things that I'm not super happy with just for the sake of making them and saying that I made them because it's practice and we're learning and we're doing things and it's fine, it's cool. I will always keep it real here. I'm never gonna like sit here and lie to you and say like, oh, I did this so quickly and so easily. Like, there's no point in that. I think it's really important to talk about the real process and what really went on this week and what really happened. And yeah, 
This is a bit of a weird one, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed this. I have one more video for this series. I have one more week of this challenge. So if you want to see that, please hit the subscribe button and the like button, and then you'll get notified when it comes out. And also it will help the algorithm like me. Have a great day. Thank you for letting me be a part of your day and I'll see you next week.